still somewhere deep inside I understood that this was some sort of a cup and it would last for a long time. I really lost the sense of home completely. In general there is such a feeling that I do not have a home anymore. People with tears on their eyes, with puffy faces. Imagine winter, extremely cold. You are in 3000 person line and you are first to throw away the thing you bought with the lost money. I would pass this checkpoint with this incomprehensible military man in big helmets. And it is standing there with a hangover with a duct tape Kalashnikov. Do you understand? I would pass this SSU building and there would be tears streaming from my eyes every time because I could not look at it. Somebody thought I want to go to Russia, someone else would say, aha, you are a Bandera man. People that had hanged Ukraine flags outside would get in trouble for real. They were for real taken away. They were really killed. I just wish I could simply enter on my apartment, simply approach on my window, sit in my own couch. You know, there's Alisa classmates died. Guys, two of them were military men. We were forced to recollate because... because they would just bomb everything. Because the heavy machinery would constantly go by. And the planes were flying. Everything was uncertain and terrifying. These alarm sirens would go off at night. It was terrible, a real war. A bunch of some elderly women, retired people saying Putin help. It seems to us that it was all a joke. But then it got worse then. As they said about Kiev, oh, they turned this Kiev over, they left in a mess. The same thing happened with us. They fenced the city, the center, these holy icons. The mass, the bedlam, the burned bags everywhere, the deer slang around. I have a friend in Georgia and I corresponded with him for the beginning of the Maidan. And he told me, Lena, there will be some scenario with you guys like it was with us. And he described everything to me in detail, all that would follow. And I said, no sense, Misha, this cannot be true. These people hanging outside Ukrainian flag, they will really get in trouble. They were for real just taken away. They were really killed. You see, this cellar started to exist. One boy died. He was with his mother. He was simply on the way to the market in the morning. This volunteer, Sasha, and his mother, they were driving in their car and the car was simply shoot it. I was like, when I watched the video of it, the mother is sitting above him. They just started shooting in the cars. You know, there's Alisa's classmates died. Guys, two of them were military men. They're the guys from Stanitsa. I would never say that one of them was capable of such a thing. But apparently they got involved into it because he did not know any better. He got shot by his own people in a party. At the party there they shoot in the person everything that was there to shoot. And two more classmates died as well. Well, one of them was a military man, but the other one, he started drinking because of all of this. And he was just unfortunate, he fell off the stairs. I have received a photo from my window, my favorite polar tree. They are such a polar growing, my mom was furrowing about it all the time. She was furious because Alina was making a flower bed there. And the tree had very strong roots, and they are preventing the flowers from growing. And I would look at the polar. It would cover the light, she said. It must be cut down, but it would cover our window from bombs at the time. It was my favorite polar tree, and I have received this photo. I cried for a half of the night, I could not come down. Just a photo. Snow, this polar, peace and quiet.